I'm going to talk to you about the important steps in conducting a risk assessment. There are five main steps that I'm going to go through. Step one, identify the hazards. This is where you could walk around your workplace and look at what could reasonably be expected to cause harm. Step two, decide who might be harmed and how. You have to account for everyone that has access to your workplace, like members of the public, cleaners, contractors. Step three, evaluate the risk and decide on precautions. The question here is, can you get rid of the hazard altogether? If not, how can you control the risk so that harm is unlikely? Step four, record your findings. This means that your precautions are at the lowest reasonably remaining risk and putting your results into practice. Step five, review and update if necessary. If your workplace doesn't change, then your risk assessment doesn't have to either. But if you get new equipment or a different layout, then your risk assessment has to be updated. Now, remember, don't overcomplicate the process because in many workplaces, the risks are well known and the control measures are easy to apply. If you have any questions, all the information can be found in the Management of Health and Safety in the Workplace Regulations 1999. Hope this helps. Stay safe.